What's up guys? It's your boy Savetsu and we are back at it again with another video. And um let's just say today things aren't gonna be so good. So basically today in the video I'm gonna talk about how PayPal thinks I'm stealing someone's identity and they think that I'm stealing my own mother's information which is completely false and they completely froze my account now before we get started with this video if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and let's get right into it now one last thing before the video starts huge shout out to the sponsor of this video sentinel now if you're a game developer and you want to obfuscate your your files and all that for your game so no one like hacks into it sentinel is your app Go ahead and click the link in the description so you can get your free copy of Sentinel. Huge shout out to the developers of Sentinel for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Now, without further ado, here we are. You know, this this is really it's really bad because it it kind of affects you guys, not really, but for me it does affect me. Not a lot, of course, because I'm still a small channel. But it still affects me nonetheless. Now, here here's the story. My my card or whatever is a high school card, so I cannot use it on PayPal because in order to use PayPal, you have to be 18 plus. So I made my account. I used my mom's credit card, so I could you know get donations and withdraw money and all that. But when I tried to send a void a dollar fifty so he can get Game Pass. Because Game Pass is a dollar for your first month, if you didn't know. PayPal flagged it right there. And they didn't let me do anything. They basically limited my account completely. They said, in order to reactivate your account, you need your this person's driver's license. And you need this person's like proof that they live there with you. Now, this wouldn't be such a problem if it was me who had to prove like my identity and stuff. But... Cause I feel comfortable, like you know, putting that. But for someone like my mom, when it comes down to it, I don't care if my identity get my identity gets stolen from you know anyone who sees it at PayPal. But when it comes down to my mom, it's gonna affect her way more than it would affect me. So I don't feel comfortable sending her information off to PayPal. I don't care how secure, quote unquote, secure it is. Hacks are bound to happen. DDoSs are bound to happen. Things are bound to happen. There's there's bound to be, you know, uh, cracks into the system. And there's bound to be people who get into PayPal servers and then they steal your information. Which brings us back to the sponsor of the video, which I think is really appropriate because the whole point of obfuscating is so you don't get hackers or cheaters or people who want to crack your stuff. But anyways, that's besides the point. The point here is PayPal screwed me. And when I tried to, you know, bring it up with, uh, like, you know, with the uh, customer support, they told me there is nothing you can do about it because we need to have this information verified. Now, why would I steal someone's information for donations? I don't know. Like, Hmm, is this person going to get the donations? Like, how does that even work? You know, like, it's pretty stupid. All over a dollar, by the way. <laughs> like, I, I, I would understand if, it, if I was sending, like, $50 or $100, but it was just a dollar. And it flagged the system, and I had to get my account verified over this stupid reason. So, yeah, PayPal pretty much screwed me. And how does this affect you guys? Well, it doesn't affect you guys much, but... It will affect you guys in the sense of you guys cannot donate to me through through Streamlabs. You, the only way you could donate to me would be through, uh, I guess, Patreon. But I don't really post on Patreon because I don't have any Patreons. But nonetheless, it's a way to donate and support the channel if you guys want to. And yeah, it's not it's not a big deal when it comes down to it because I, I could just always make a new PayPal, and plus I'm turning 18 soon, so I'm going to change my credit card over to, like, a real one. But for the meantime, I guess Patreon would be, like, the only way to actually get money from YouTube. Uh, that, or I get a 1,000 subscribers first, and I could start getting paid through YouTube. 
but I digress. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. Huge shout out to Sentinel. If you guys want to, you know, d support the channel, go ahead and click the link in the description. I get a cut of what they make every time you click it. So, or every time you down someone downloads it and registers. So go ahead and do that. This is your boy Savetio. I'm out. Peace.